Hi, this is Jody King Colgrove with Quantum Techniques. We have the most comprehensive diagnostic form of energy medicine in the world today. I work with people on the phone all over the world, helping them understand why they're having a health issue and what they can do about it. Well, today the health issue and the person calling was my dog Star. <laughs> We um, moved to a new area and it tends to have a lot of mold and different plants and different issues that come up, um, a, lot of little, <laughs> a lot of little bites. Well, this is what she was doing and is doing. And so it's like, okay, what's going on? How do we diagnose this for a client over the phone for a dog and find out what's going on? Well, here's the situation that happened. We all got a lot of bites. It's been very hot this year and a lot of humidity and uh, the season has gone on quite long. And so we got a lot of mosquito bites and they keep biting and biting and biting. And so uh, we have a certain formula that we've come up with, um, neem oil, which is helpful to go outside um, so that um, they don't get bit by mosquito bites. The other thing is that we um, went to a park and I hadn't realized that a lot of times uh, parks, they spray with their pesticides um, or, you know, mosquito abatement and things like that. And it can get on, you know, you can breathe it in, it gets on your clothes, gets on your shoes. And we had brought that home and we had, you know, we tried to take our shoes off and leave them, at, you know, by the front door. But, you know, sometimes we track in a little bit. Well, she picked it up. And so then it started spreading on the skin and things like that. So what we do at Quantum Techniques is find out, okay, what is bothering her skin? How is it impacting her health? What, what do we need to clean up? So I found out we needed to clean all the bottom of our shoes, we needed to clean up the floor where we walked. I even actually found that where she typically lays, there's some mold um, that was there. So I cleaned up the floor with mold. I actually found that sometimes, you know, I wash with a towel if she goes outside and um, gets in the water, I wash her down. Well, that towel, I would just kind of dry every so often not realizing that in this kind of environment that those towels after you know one or two um, frequencies will get mold on it. And so I was rubbing her down with the towel that had mold on it. So those are things that you just kind of have to think about and be aware of how is she getting retoxed and so and getting you know bug bites and getting you know different chemicals on her that's making her skin itch. So we found that not only was it bug bites but it was also some mold that she had on her skin and so I can clean the skin I can give her some MMS baths that help her um, not skin not be so irritated I can give her some DMSO with some silver on it to uh, put on her skin to try to clear clear the mold and also the um, the help with the bites and the itchiness and and then we coat her to find out you know why is this a sensitive field you know uh, last year or maybe a year and a half ago she got bit by um, a bee and it really impacted her immune system and so it's like well why is that well the reason being is that I had her on a heartworm medicine that at the time tested good for her because she had gotten some Jardia and gotten some whipworm um, and so that tested good but then it was too strong for her so it created a problem with her wound healing and she was not able to heal wounds so when she got that bee bite and sting it just really impacted her system and she had kind of open wound so we were able to figure out what it was and clear that so um, but it's also important you know that if a, a dog does have some challenges with the skin and things like that you know need to test to see what kind of medicines or if she should be taking some medicine so and when is a good time that her immune system can handle that so we test to make sure that the dog's immune system is doing uh, well at and whether it's keeping well and what's impacting it. So all those things really help um, them to be able to stay healthy. And uh, just hearts when our dogs immune, when their immune system hurts or when they're itching and things like that. Um, another thing that I wanted to share with you that I thought was very interesting, she tends to have what they call a trauma field at 420 in the morning. And so she will wake up and start you know, itching um, or she will jump into bed and wake us up and I'm an early riser but 420 is a little bit earlier and it's so odd that it's always 420. So I knew it was a trauma from childhood because I tested that before but with this bite issue and things like that it came back again. So I said okay well what is that? And so we found it was the intention to survive. 
So we have another list that we can say, well, survive what? You know, what is it that she's trying to survive? And I went through and tested what it was, and it was siblings. <laughs> okay, I guess she's ready to leave. <laughs> so anyway, um, what I found was that she um, had gotten a trauma with her siblings and not being able to breathe when she was about uh, four weeks old. And so she was trying to survive and couldn't breathe and things like that. So we cleared that trauma and so that 420 never came up again. So that's really exciting that with quantum techniques we can find out, you know, why is this a reoccurring issue? And we do that for dogs, we do it for kids, we do it for people, we do it for everyone. So um, just wanted to share some of those things that I've had to deal with, with in my life with dogs and um, trying to clean up from molds and uh, pesticides and chemicals in our lives and also um, oh, she's bringing us a toy here. Show everybody your bear. Can you show everybody your bear? <laughs> she loves to bring us her bear and her toys. Um, so anyway, so those are the things that we can help kind of clean up for our pets and um, let them know how to have a really happy and healthy life. So wanted to share that with you. I'd love to work with you with quantum techniques and to help your family thrive and be as happy and healthy as possible. So give me a call at Quantum Techniques. You can go to our website at quantumtechniques.com and reset, request a session request with Jody Colgrove and um, I will get with you and find out how to be healthy and happy. All right, blessings from Quantum Techniques.